I was once given a speech. It wasn't long ago in the last year and I was telling my story and a, a guy came up to me after I got off stage and he walks up and he was Indian uh, descent and he had this great accent which I won't try to imitate because it, it was just, it was really great and he came up to me and it turns out he was the head of the Harvard Brain Institute and he was speaking on the same stage that I was and and so he came up to me and he goes Bo excuse me um, do you know why you've been able to achieve um, these levels that you've been able to achieve in seemingly completely different disciplines like safety and football and playwriting and speaking on stage and writing those are completely unrelated uh, disciplines and he said to me do you know why you've been able to achieve the top level in different disciplines like that and I said um, no I don't I actually don't know why I got an idea but why don't you tell me and he goes it's because you use the word the best you use the word the best in all your dreams so I've had these four dreams in my life um, I want to be the best safety in the world when I was nine years old and it happened um, I wanted to be the best stage performer in the world it happened I wanted to be the best playwright in the world you know it happened the New York Times named my play you know the most powerful play of the last decade so those things happen and then uh, when I I wanted to be the best speaker um, uh, public speaker uh, in the world and those things you know seem to be happening he said because you use the word the best your brain knows exactly what to do with that information he told me if I would have said hey I want to be a kind of mediocre safety he said your brain doesn't know what to do with that information so it does nothing if I would have said hey I, I want to be a kind of good stage performer your my brain doesn't know what to do with the information therefore it does nothing it lies dormant but when you say I want to be the best safety in the world or I want to be the best stage performer in the world your brain knows exactly what to do and he gave me this statistic he said do you know the average human being uses five percent of their brain capacity high achievers high achievers use 20 percent of their brain capacity Olympic gold medalists use 40 percent of their brain capacity because mastery is the highest form of intelligence so imagine this imagine you winning the silver medal or the bronze medal those people who win those medals are using 20 percent of their brain capacity there that's a lot they're accessing a lot but the person standing on top of the podium on top of the box with the gold medal around their neck is using 20% more than they're using of their brain capacity because I use the term the best I want to be the best at this my brain rallies the troops goes to work and brings that into existence in a matter of years or time regardless of what the discipline is that's why I use the term the best to rally the troops that's why I use it for you I use it for you because I want more access of you if you if you want to be the storyteller and the speaker and the presenter and the leader that I see you as then you have to access 40% of your brain capacity otherwise you're gonna be sitting on the podium getting a silver medal or a bronze medal and I'm just not interested in that I just don't really care about a silver medal I don't really care about bronze medalists and the funny thing about it is silver medalists and bronze medalists they don't care about them either they didn't want that I guarantee they didn't want a bronze and they didn't want a silver they wanted gold they wanted the best and the minute that those cameras turn off they take that metal off of their neck and they put it in a black bag in the darkness and they zip that bag up never to be seen again for years later when their mom or their wife or their spouse hangs that metal on the wall but they didn't want the silver and they didn't want the bronze and that's how we're made 
And that's how this community is put together. This is what I'm building. It's the only thing I'm interested in building. I'm interested in more of you. I'm interested in more access of your brain capacity. I want 40% of your brain, not 20. I want 40 so that your dreams are realized. So that, and I do this selfishly, really. I really do. Because I look around at leadership and I look around at who's on stages and who's standing at podiums and who am I seeing on TV and who are these gurus and who are these so-called amateurish leaders. And I think they're doing a really bad job and they're not giving all of themselves. They're using five, six, eight percent of their brain capacity. I want 40. When I want some, when somebody's on stage, I want to be led by that person. When somebody's speaking to me and leading me, I want to follow. Well, there's nobody to follow. This is the reason. We got to have more of you. You got to include the word the best in whatever your dream is so that your brain rallies the troops and we can bring this thing into existence. Now, the expression of you is also the most unique thing. You're one-time phenomenon. I mean, you're a one-time deal. You're never to be repeated. Never. So think back of the first human that put a footprint on this earth. Different DNA than you. Different voice than you. Saw different things. Only you can tell what you've got. That's what I want you to do. I want you to access that. I want you to include the word the best in everything you do to rally the troops. Go out there, surrender to who you already are, which is the best, and I'll see you next time.